Welcome to this Sage Business Vision Accounting product demonstration. In this product demonstration, we will talk about configuring integrated credit card and debit card payment processing in Sage Business Vision. This product demonstration is relevant to Sage Business Vision 2010 SP1 and higher. In this demonstration, we will not only talk about how to configure the integration, but also the benefits that it brings to you and your customers. Accepting credit card and debit card payments provides a number of benefits to both you and your customers. First, accepting a credit card and debit card payments makes it easier for your customers to do business with you. This is because they'll have more choice for how to pay for the purchases they make with your company. Also, accepting credit card and debit card payments increases customer satisfaction because there are lower wait times at the checkout line. It also increases sales because customers are not limited by the cash they have on hand during the purchase process. Additionally, integrated credit card and debit card processing goes above and beyond and it eliminates double entry in two systems, making the checkout more efficient and less prone to human error, as now your checkout clerks no longer need to both manage the credit card debit card process and then enter the data yet again into your point of sale system. It also increases security as Sage Exchange, the integrated credit card tool provided with Sage Business Vision, is PCI compliant. There are a couple of prerequisites that you need in order to use Sage Exchange with Sage Business Vision. First, you need Sage Business Vision 2010 SP1 or higher. Also, you need a merchant account from Sage Payment Solutions. Optionally, you need a credit card swipe device to swipe the credit cards from your customers, or a pin debit swipe device if you're accepting debit cards. If your organization does not want to use pin debit and wants solely to accept credit card payments, you can do so without a credit card swipe device if you want to enter the credit card data manually. Once you have met these prerequisites, you're ready to install Sage Exchange and set up the integration with Sage Business Vision so that you can accept integrated credit card payments. There are essentially three steps to the process to install Sage Exchange and configure the integration. First, you must install the Sage Exchange application on the local workstation. Next, you must enable payment processing within Sage Business Vision. And finally, you need to assign your credit card tender types to the specific accounts where those monies should be deposited after the payment is received. The first step will be to install Sage Exchange. So you need to go to the Sage Exchange install website. So I open my web browser on my local workstation and I enter the address www.sageexchange.com forward slash install. This opens the Sage Exchange install web page. On this web page I can see the prerequisites for the installation process as well as some device drivers for various swipe devices. I'm going to click Next on this page, which is going to open up the End User License Agreement for Sage Exchange. After I read through this agreement, I can go ahead and click Install. Sage Exchange starts a web installer, and that web installer will download the necessary files that it needs to install Sage Exchange on my workstation. You can see it downloading those files now. Now that those files have been downloaded, we can see that Sage Exchange has popped up in my task tray and it has been installed and it's already running on my workstation. Now I can go ahead and enable payment processing within Sage Business Vision. This process has already happened with this installation and we'll walk through where all the settings are. The first thing you need to do is open up Utilities, System Manager, and go ahead and open up the System Setup tab. On this tab, simply click Company, and then go ahead and click Payment Processing. On here, you'll click the checkbox for Active to enable credit card processing through Sage Exchange. The next thing you need to do is enter your Merchant ID as provided by Sage Exchange in your welcome email. Your Merchant ID will display as the M underscore ID in that email. Then you need to enter your merchant key as provided within that email from Sage Exchange as well when you signed up for your merchant account. 
that will display as the M key within that message. You also have the option here to configure Sage Business Vision to automatically send the customer address to Sage Exchange. We recommend doing this because it will automatically pass whatever the customer's address is from Sage Business Vision point of sale, order entry, or accounts receivable right to Sage Exchange during the payment process. This will save you a step during the payment process and speed up, speed up the process as a whole. I'm going to click OK here to save the settings. The final step in our configuration process is to assign which accounts will funds from which credit card types. To do that, you go to Utilities, System Manager, Special Accounts. Sage Business Vision, of course, warns us because these changes will affect the entire installation, so we want to make sure nobody else is signed in when we make this change. What we now choose is the point of sale accounts within the Special Accounts dialog box. As you can see, I've already configured my setup for the various credit card types that I accept. So, for example, for this particular account, I'm assigning Visa to it, so that when a Visa card is swiped and charged, it will be, it will be accredited to account 1160. I do the same for my MasterCard and my American Express. Once I've done this for the credit cards that I accept, I can go ahead and click Save to save the settings. I've now configured all of my settings for Sage Exchange to perform integrated credit card processing with Sage Business Vision. If you're using Sage Business Vision point of sale in a retail environment, it's nice to set up a credit card swipe device with your workstation. The credit card swipe device will save both you and your customers time during the checkout process. To enable a credit card swipe device, go into your Windows task tray and right click the Sage Exchange icon. Next, choose Settings from the, the menu that opens. This opens the Sage Exchange Settings dialog box. First, I'm going to select the credit card swipe device that I have attached to my workstation. Now that I have that enabled, I have the option to mark Automatically Start Card Swipe. If I enable this option, Sage Exchange will automatically assume that I want to swipe a credit card with each credit card sale. If I choose not to enable this option, I will need to manually initiate the card swipe with each, trans with each credit card transaction. That also provides me with the option to manually type in credit card information if I wish to. I'm going to mark this option to enable automatically start credit card swipe. I now click OK to save the settings and to close the Sage Exchange Settings dialog box. I'm now going to demonstrate a credit card sale through Sage Business Vision Point of Sale. What I'm going to do is first choose the customer that's making the purchase today. Next, I'm going to choose the items that this customer is going to buy. They're going to purchase two or three items from us. Now I'm going to tender out this transaction. When I tender, the Payment Details dialog box opens and I choose, to pay, I choose that the customer is going to be paying with a credit card. I click OK and if you recall from earlier in our demonstration, I configured Sage Exchange to automatically assume that there would be a card swipe with each sale. That is why our Swipe Card Now dialog box is opened. I'm going to swipe our credit card. The credit card was recorded and the credit card receipt has now printed out of my receipt printer. You can see that on our screen. I'm going to close out that receipt and it will follow up with our standard sales receipt once I click OK on the, on the Payment Details dialog box. Here's our receipt that will come out of our receipt printer for the sale. I am now ready to process the next transaction for the next customer. I'm now going to demonstrate how to accept a credit card payment with an order entered through Sage Business Vision Order Entry. To do this, first I need to open Order Entry by selecting Edit, Order Entry, Details. This opens the Order Details dialog box. First I'm going to select my customer who will be Ace Electronics. 
Once I have my customer selected, I'll choose the one item that I'm going to sell them today. This customer wants to pay me right over the telephone for this item. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save the order. Sage Business Vision will ask me when I save the order whether or not I wish to print an invoice, and I'm going to say yes. It will next ask me if I wish to apply this invoice to their account or not. Because the customer is paying me right over the telephone with their credit card, I'm going to choose No here. This will open the Payment Details dialog box. On this dialog box, I'll indicate that they're paying with a credit card. Next, I click OK. Sage Exchange will open, waiting for the credit card information to process. I'll now enter it as if the customer was providing me that information right over the telephone. I would also need to put in their expiration date and the CVV number from the back of the card. It's also important that I provide the name attached to the credit card with this transaction. I'm now going to click Submit. We can now see that the credit card receipt has printed out. This shows that the credit card has been processed and that we've received the amount of money attached to the order. I'm going to close out this receipt. I'm also going to click OK now to close out the Payment Details dialog box. We can now see that my, uh, my invoice and sales receipt has printed out as well. This is how you process an order with a credit card payment through Sage Business Vision Order Entry. I will now demonstrate how to accept a credit card payment for his account through Sage Business Vision Accounts Receivable. First I'm going to open up Accounts Receivable by going to Edit Accounts Receivable. I'm now going to select the particular customer who is giving us a call to make a payment on their account. That will be Ace Electronics. They're going to make a payment on this particular invoice where they owe $342.71. Now double click on this particular invoice and it's going to open up the AR Transaction Entry dialog box. Because I'm accepting a credit card payment, what I'm going to do is choose Payment Options and choose Post. This is going to open the Payment Details dialog box. I can now choose that I wish to accept a credit card payment for this amount. I can now click OK and Sage Exchange will start. I'll now enter the credit card information as provided to me by the customer. I enter their uh, expiration date as well as their CVV number. I also need to make sure that I put in the name of the customer as it appears on the credit card. And now click Submit. I can now see that my credit card receipt is printed out of my receipt printer. I'm going to close that out. I'm going to click OK here. And my payment's been received on account for Ace Electronics through Sage Business Vision Accounts Receivable using their credit card. Thank you for attending this Sage Business Vision product demonstration. If you're a current Sage Business Care Plan member and would like more information about how to upgrade to Sage Business Vision 2010 SP1 or higher, or more information about this integration, please contact our Sage Business Vision customer support team at 1-800-215-5395. If you're currently not on a Sage Business Care Plan and would like more information about how to upgrade to Sage Business Vision 2010, please contact our Sage Business Vision sales team at 1-800-945-8007. If you're currently on Sage Business Vision 2010 or higher and would like to take advantage of this integration today and need a merchant account from Sage Payment Solutions, please contact our Sage Payment Solutions sales team at 1-888-800-9935. And as always, if you have suggestions about how we can make Sage Business Vision better meet the needs of your business, send us an email at productenhancements.bv at sage.com.